In this video, we will study that what is measurement. So let us start with our topic. The word measurement, it tells us about property of something. Means the measurement, it tells that how long an object is, how heavy it is or how much it can hold. So in simple definition, if we define measurement, then we can say that measurement tells us about the property of something. So the measurement, it gives us a means to describe the various phenomena occurring in nature in terms of quantity. In nature, there are innumerable things and uh, the measurement, it tells us that what is the quantity of those things, okay? Like if we want to find out the length of a scale. So how much length or how long that uh, scale is, that is the called the measurement. There is a famous quote that whatever exists in nature, it exists in some amount, okay? Whatever, like if air is present in the atmosphere, there is some amount of that air if water is present in the sea then there is a amount of that water so whatever exists in nature it ex it has some amount and the measurement or the uh, amount or the calculation of that amount is called the measurement okay so that is the simple definition or in simple terms how we can define the measurement also, measurement is the process by which one can convert the physical parameters to meaningful numbers. Means if we want to find out that how much water is contained in a glass. So, we can roughly define it like it is approximately equal to uh, means the amount of uh, uh, or equal to the weight of something or we can just give an idea that this much water is given. So uh, this is just an approximation. If we want to actually find out that how much water is contained in the glass, we will say that suppose 200 ml of water is there. So this 200 ml, the quantity which we are getting that this much amount of water is contained that is called the measurement when we are measuring that water so we are converting the physical parameters into some meaningful numbers through the measurement okay Now the measurements, they are always performed with the help of using some instrument or some tool. For example, like rulers, stopwatches, thermometers, weighing machine. These all are the measuring instruments. Because like with the help of ruler, we can find out the length of uh, a paper or anything. Or uh, with the help of weighing machine, we can calculate or we can measure the weight with the help of thermometer we can measure the temperature with the help of stopwatch or watches we can measure the time so all these instruments they are used to measure some quantity okay so these instruments which are used for measurement they are called the measuring instrument so we can say that measurement is always performed by using some kind of instrument or some tool
So the measurement it is performed by using the instrument and the instrument which is used to for doing the measurements that instrument is called a measuring instrument. An example of measuring instruments are ruler, stopwatch, thermometer, weighing machine. All these are a type of measuring instruments. Okay. Now, as I have told that measurement tells us about the property of something, okay? Like if we talk about an object, so measurement will tell us that how long that object is, how heavy that object is, or how much uh, uh, that object can hold. So it is telling about uh, us about the length, about the weight, and about the volume of that object okay so what the measurement is doing if we are telling that this uh, scale is uh, 30 centimeter in length so it is giving a number to that property okay if we are telling that what is the length length is the property of the ruler so we are giving a number that uh, this uh, length of the ruler is 30 centimeter okay so measurement gives a number to that property now every time whenever we are uh, doing any type of measurement we will have some result of that measurement means if we are measuring an a property using a measuring instrument then that measuring instrument will give us the result so whenever we are expressing the result of the measurement it will contain two parts one is the number and second is the unit of measurement So every time the result of the measurement, it will consist of two parts. One is the number and second is the unit of measurement. Now let's take an example. Suppose we want to measure the distance between two trees. Okay. And suppose this distance between the two trees, it is coming out to be two meters. Okay. So this two. 2 is the number and meters is the unit and what we are measuring we are measuring the distance between the two trees so distance becomes the property which we are measuring and this property we are defining that the distance is 2 meters between the two trees so the result of this measurement it is having two parts one is the number that is 2 we are giving a numerical value to the result and also the unit of measurement. If we simply write that uh, uh, the distance between the two trees is 2, we don't write the unit. So the 2 number, it uh, doesn't give any uh, specification that uh, what is the uh, value of this. 2 is having no uh, value, okay. So this unit, it gives... Uh, unit is also given with this uh, result that the distance between the two trees is two units okay because without this unit of measurement this numerical value two it is of no use okay now this was what we defined the measurement in our uh, simple way okay now let's come define the measurement in terms of engineering okay in engineering the measurement is defined as the process
so if in terms of engineering if we define measurement then measurement is the act or the result of a quantitative comparison between the quantity whose magnitude is unknown and a predefined standard so in measurement what we are doing we are comparing two quantities the amount of one quantity is unknown to us okay and the amount of another quantity is known to us so the quantity whose amount we already know that is called a predefined standard and the quantity whose amount we want to know or the the unknown quantity the unknown magnitude that is called the measurement okay so here in this definition we have two things one is the measurement whose value we want to measure and another is the standard whose value we already know okay so unknown quantity Here in this definition, the quantity whose magnitude is unknown is called the measurement or we can define measurement as the physical parameter or variable to be measured. And if we want to define the standard, So standard is defined as the quantity of the same kind means same kind like measure if we want to measure the length okay so unknown quantity is like the length of the ruler if we want to measure or length of the paper we want to measure okay and predefined standard is the length of the ruler we already know that the length of the ruler is 30 centimeter so we are using that uh, length of the ruler and uh, that is our standard which is the quantity of the same kind we are measuring length so both standard and measurement measurement it has to be the length and it is chosen as a unit or basis for comparison of the quantitative value to be measured that is the measurement so measurement in the terms of engineering we always define it as the result of a quantitative comparison between an unknown quantity and a known quantity unknown quantity is called the measurement and known quantity is called the standard now let's take another example suppose we are measuring an unknown mass with the help of a known mass of 1 kg we are using a weighing machine a weighing balance we are using on one side we keep the 1 kg of the mass which we already know and on the other uh, balance on the other side of the balance we are keeping that unknown mass okay now when the balance is equal means when the uh, balancing machine it is equal it means that the unknown quantity it is also of the same mass as that of 1 kg so what we are doing 1 kg is our standard okay we are using that standard we are making the comparison when the weighing machine is at equal when the balancing machine is balanced it means the weight on both the sides is equal okay so that unknown value is also having the same mass so this is a type of measurement here the unknown mass is the measurement the 1 kg of mass it is the standard and the weighing machine which we are using it is the measuring instrument okay now here i have told that whenever we express the result of the measurement we always express it in terms of a numerical value okay we give a number to that result and also a unit of measurement now in order that the result of the measurements they should be accurate and perfect there are three requirements so let's see what are the three requirements of it
so the requirements are the first requirement is that the standard which we are using for the comparison purpose that standard should be accurately known and it should be commonly acceptable by all okay it means that uh, suppose uh, in the case in the earlier example which we taken where we are measuring the weight of an unknown quantity by comparing it with the 1 kg of a standard okay so here that standard quantity it should be accurate we, the weight of that uh, uh, standard quantity it should be exactly 1 kg then only we can use it for the comparison purpose if it is of suppose like 98 or 99 kg then we cannot use for it for the comparison that in that case it would not be taken as a standard okay so standard it should be accurate and also it should be commonly acceptable like if we are using a weight so that weight could be taken as standard by all the persons who are doing the measurement okay the second requirement is that the standard must be of the same character as the measurement. Suppose we are measuring the length, okay? So we can take the ruler as the standard, okay? Now, in the case of measuring length, we cannot take the 1 kg mass of a quantity as a standard because we are measuring length, okay? We are not measuring the mass of the quantity. So the standard should also be of the same character as the measurement. If we are measuring length then standard should also be the length okay if we are measuring mass then the standard should also be the mass it should be compared with the mass of a quantity only now third requirement is that The apparatus or the method which we are using for the comparison purpose, that method and the apparatus, it should be provable, okay? We can prove, means it can exist in real, that method and the apparatus, okay? The apparatus should also be accurate, then only the measurement results, they will be accurate. So these are the three requirements in order to get the results of the measurement as some meaningful result, okay? So in this video, we studied that what is measurement, how we can define the measurement in a simple language, that measurement, it tells about the property of something, it tells about or it gives a meaningful number to a quantity or to a physical parameter. Then we define the measurement in terms of engineering, that in engineering, the measurement is defined as the result of a comparison between an unknown quantity and a known quantity. Then we define two terms, the standard and the measurement. And in the last, we studied that what are the three requirements which are essential for getting a meaningful result of the measurement. So I hope that this topic, what is measurement, is clear to you. Thank you.